Karen Bostic with Eye on Sun Valley. You know, Macaw has its winter carnival, but Haley now has its new snow sculpture contest. This time around, we have a marshmallow, a giant marshmallow roasting on a fire courtesy of Grocery Outlet. I hope they have a sale on s'mores this week. And we have all kinds of other fun things to look at. Let's go check it out. Good afternoon, my name is James with the City of Haley Parks Department. Welcome to the second annual snow carving event. Uh, we're happy to have everyone back to include Ion Sun Valley. The differences between last year and this year are this. Instead of four teams, we have eight. We're also doing a memorial cube for the Haley Fire Department who lost a member of their team this past week. In addition to that, we're featuring the new town center building, the former copy and print building, directly behind me. Now inside that, we have numerous nonprofits bringing awareness to causes that are important to the community. The Advocates, the National Association of Mental Health Institute, Bikers Against Child Abuse, the Crisis Hotline. Uh, they're all inside. Every single person here carving is a volunteer. The Men's Second Chance Shelter sent volunteers over to help carving, help clean. So this is really just, the city and the Chamber of Commerce who presents this, the Chamber of Commerce puts it on, really just want one thing, a free event in the winter for the public that brings everyone together and then the public for the next seven days can view an outdoor museum at no cost to them. And all the voting gets done in the library in person to encourage people to utilize the library. The, the sponsors that you see everywhere have donated amounts of money that will turn into chamber bucks so the winners of the contest will get those and they'll be spent here locally. So it's just a really intimate local event with literally hundreds of hardworking people doing this, coming together just to help out and showcase their artistic skills. Our returning champion, the Kiwanis Club, is over in front of the town center building. They are the ones that did the bear last year. This year they're doing a fish on uh, river rocks. So I don't know what he's going to do next year. <laughs> Most of the other contestants have already conceded that Bob's going to win. <laughs> so we just want to thank all of the people that have spent countless hours planning this behind the scenes. We want to thank the City of Haley's Street Department and there's the Street Department Superintendent. It took them three days, 10 hours a day, in literally two degree weather to blow these all in place safely and pack them and clean the ice. And they did this in addition to their regular duties because there's no authorized overtime for this. So there's no cost to the taxpayer. So the guys at the Street Department got all this done within their regular work duties. So I want to thank Carl Malone Ford for sponsoring this year's event, and also Idaho Lumber, among numerous others, so come on down and check it out. Where we got the snow this year was a little different because the weather was warmer and the, all the other snow was either melted or too dirty. So the City of Haley Street Department went down to the, the airport and collected snow from behind the runway, so only clean snow in town. Very long, arduous process, but we got the clean snow to make it happen. These cubes are eight feet by eight feet by eight feet and they weigh 27,000 pounds so like 10 Ford pickup trucks and there it's not ice it's packed snow and it freezes on the outside but the, on the inside it's like a snow cone so the hard work comes for the first few hours in the morning cutting away cutting away the uh, the sides and then the artistic part comes in and as you get further into the cube it becomes softer so the original Genesis idea of this last year was to do seven nights of snow and lights or ice and fire. Didn't pull it off, didn't pull it off this year, but next year we will, which means today is the big event. The band's here, the food is here, the truck is here, the people are here, the volunteers are here. But next year we plan on having events, hopefully each night of the week and each night featuring one of the cubes with some form of fire or light show, local businesses getting involved, maybe get all the downtown businesses do a theme for it. So that's, that's the dream, that's the vision. I think with all the members of the community participating like they, they have been, I think we can pull it off. I'm Chris Carwithin, and um, yeah, I'm with the Liberty Theater Company. I'm the marketing director, and um, we're coming out here today to do this to sort of be a reminder to the community that the arts are still here, but we need your support. The theater, just like anything else, has been hit so, so hard, and theaters across the globe are closing for good, some of them for good. We have the great luck of having a community that supports theater and so we we're, we're at a moment now where we can rally support for this iconic building and that's what our Relight the Liberty campaign is all about is making sure that we can raise the funds the two million dollars that we need to make sure that we 
get that building back. And it's, it's, I know that it's an icon of this, of this town and it's also home for so many people, you know. Theater is all about improv and that's sort of what we're doing here today. We've never done this before. It's just sort of a yes and scenario. And so this, I, I, don't even, I wouldn't even know what to call this, but I'm using it and you know, we're, we're having a little bit of success here, you know. Tess is over here putting the finishing touches on the eyebrows. And it's something that while we're not necessarily, we're, you know, we're more fit for the stage and for performing on, you know, in front of people. This is also a, just another fun art form that we get to explore. And it's so cool to be able to bring something like this to the, to the community. Well, my name's Abby Conover and I am with NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And we are making a bluebird. I promise that's what it is. <laughs> Um, and the bluebird just kind of represents like a bluebird day, right? Clear skies and just that kind of mindset. Um, and that's what we kind of want people to feel when they see this bluebird that will happen. <laughs> yeah, right here. The bluebird also represents the social groups that we have in Cary, Woodrow Middle School, Whatever High School, and um, Syringa Mountain School right now. And they are just social groups where kids learn to support each other and support their mental health and learn different skills like resilience and compassion and empathy. And yeah, that's another thing that the Bluebird represents. Yeah, Bob Wiedrich, uh, past president of the uh, Kiwanis Club of Haley in the Wood River Valley. And uh, uh, we had a great time last year carving the big bear, so we thought we'd uh, give it another go. It takes a lot, of, a lot of help to get it going. It's as hard to move the stuff that you uh, carve off of it as, uh, as it is to do the carving. So it's, uh, it's a team effort. And uh, uh, we almost had a failure. You see the two by four holding the uh, tail up and I could see some cracks developing and we were about to lose our tail. <laughs> I'm Jalen Valdez and this is Lily Morrison. We are with Wood River Legacy Softball. I coach and she is a player. We're just out here making a big softball out of the snow. It's been really fun, a lot harder than we thought. It's hard to get that sphere shape, but I think it's coming along and we're excited to see how it comes out. We're just out here to kind of spread awareness for this program. We're a new program, so uh, just to get our name out there, see if we can get some girls to come out this summer and play with us. So we're excited to be here.